lot of people have operational systems, you know, maybe producing the product, maybe it's generating power, maybe it's putting oil and gas through pipelines at their facilities. And that's part of how they make money, the customer. But something that happens to customers is that if our equipment goes down or any of the equipment goes down, it can disrupt production. And so you know, what's emerging is a set of cloud-based systems, uh, and we call it asset performance management, actually running in the cloud, that allow the control system to continue in place, but take some of that data, especially the reliability data, bring it to these cloud-based infrastructure where we can run advanced analytics. And the purpose of running those advanced analytics is to have early detection of problems so that we can prevent in real time rather than reacting in real time. And so this is a really critical part of APM. But you know, you don't just get it for free. The first thing you have to do is connect to the equipment in the plant. We have capabilities to do that in a secure, authenticated way. Tap into the control systems, bring the data to a you know, DMZ or other protected environment, and then transfer it to the cloud in a way that uh, we're all very confident works well. And then once it's connected, we have to organize it. So a customer might have multiple sites, and we want to organize it by those sites and by the different types of equipment. And then we want to run the advanced analytics in order to optimize the operations based on that data. So we really you know, look at the full system level capability in APM. Why do people do it? Because it's part of improving their overall maintenance strategies and driving costs down.